Hi, Mr. P here and welcome to the channel. Are you revising the fantastic Purple Hibiscus by Chimamanda and Gozi Adichie for exams or maybe term papers? If so, this series of short micro videos will help you by exploring key symbolism and motifs. Along with the key quotations, you should probably try and learn so that you can totally ace your English. As ever, if you like what you see, then do subscribe. And if you've got any questions at all, please put them in the comments below. So what I'd like to do to start with is just explain what we mean by symbolism and motifs. So symbolism is an object, a person, a situation, or an action that suggests or represents other meanings beyond the literal. A motif is a recurring theme or idea that is usually dominant or central to the meaning or message of the text. In the Purple Hibiscus novel, the purple hibiscus flower is an important symbol. Obviously, it's the title of the novel. It's a flower in Auntie Ifwoma's garden, and it was created through a special process to give it its distinctive, unusual, almost unique color. It represents, it symbolizes freedom as it's associated with the freedom of Unsuka and Auntie Ifwoma's family. Jaja in particular is really interested in its appearance. Uh, Jaja takes cuttings to plant at home in Anugu and it sparks his interest in gardening. At the end of the novel, Kambili hopes Jaja will plant them. Um, and I guess we're looking at how planting might be symbolic of new life, new hope, new start, optimism, those kinds of things. Let's have a look at some quotes. Nsukka started it all. And if one was a little garden next to the veranda in her flat, Unsukka began to lift the silence. While well, the setting of Unsukka is synonymous in the novel with freedom, from Papa's violence and control in particular, and if one was family are encouraged to speak their minds and to challenge conventional thinking. For Kambili and Jaja and their upbringing, this is kind of surprising. But as the novel develops, they both gain the courage to speak instead of keeping silent. The purple hibiscus is grown by Ant Ifwoma in the little garden and, like Nsukka, becomes a symbol of freedom in the novel. Jaja's defiance seemed to me now like Ant Ifwoma's experimental purple hibiscus, rare, fragrant, with the undertones of freedom from the ones the crowds waving green leaves chanted at the government square after the coup a different kind of freedom, a freedom to be, to do. As Jaja grows up in the novel, he increasingly challenges Papa, such as refusing to attend church. Here, Adichie compares Jaja's confidence and freedom to speak up to the purple hibiscus. The repetition of freedom in this quote serves to emphasize the connection between the purple hibiscus and the escape from the tyranny, whether that is Papa at a family level or the overthrow of the regime at a national level. They were stalks of purple hibiscus. Anti Ifwoma said the stalks might take root and grow. Well, Jaja, as we've said, is fascinated by the purple hibiscus whilst he's at Anti Ifwoma's in Nsukka. Here he develops his interest in gardening. And in this quote, the verbs take root and grow might symbolize hope for change and a new, more positive future for Jaja, and perhaps indeed the rest of the family. Planting here is a metaphor for new growth and change and hope. We will take Jaja to Nsukka first, and then we'll go to America to visit Auntie Ifwoma, I said. We'll plant new orange trees in Abba when we come back, and Jaja will plant purple hibiscus too. And I'll plant Ixora so we can suck the juices of the flowers. I am laughing. I reach out and place my arm around Mama's shoulder and she leans towards me and smiles. The new rains will come down soon. Well, as I've said in the slide, this quote is from the end of the novel where there is hope for the future with Papa now gone and Jaja freed from jail. The repetition of the verb plant symbolizes a new start and a new life. The plant suggests this new life will be kind of natural without the toxic presence of Papa. The fact that Kambili is laughing links to the motif of laughter, which we'll cover in another video. And this is associated with Nsukka and the freedom represented by Auntie Ifwoma's home. Okay, 
So that's the purple hibiscus uh, symbol. Hope it's been useful. If you want to uh, um, get more help with revising purple hibiscus, I've made a bunch of other videos, so please do check them out. And if you want to get new content, then do hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on new videos. And I'll see you really, really soon, I hope. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.